What's going on guys? Welcome back to Goshen's Games and before we get started with this video I want to make sure that this video is not kid friendly. So ass and titties, ass and leaf of titties, titties, you can see right here, and leaf of titties, this game, this show, this anime is not made for children. The show has an actual rape scene where the hero then dismembers the person who raped his student or was trying to rape his student. This is not for kids, ass and titties. Now that we're done with that, and leaf of titties, now that we're done with that, let's talk about the event, guys. Thank you so much for joining today. I really do appreciate you being here watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, all of that stuff. Let's get into the new event that is that is coming to the game on Monday. Monday being November 25th. So this new event is called Kirito and Yujiro Style. Basically, it's a new event where we can go ahead and grind to trade in items to get limit breaking materials, level up materials, uh, and a new home costume for Ronnie if you have her. I don't have her. But if you have her, you'll be able to use that costume for her. So scrolling down here, Ronnie's cute home outfit is now available. It will be available. It says now available, but it will be available on the 25th. Scenario event begins. Scenario events is an event where you can defeat bosses and collect exchange items while enjoying an original story. You can collect exchange items and exchange them for exclusive items at the exchange point. Event summary. Ronnie and Tisei continue their routine training as elite disciples. As Ronnie and Tisei head off to the elite disciple dorms as usual, Kito and Yujiro propose an eccentric practice to the two, including limited time only auction. Get a, a home outfit. For this event, home outfit, see you in my dreams, Ronnie, will be available. Complete the event and try on a new outfit. With this outfit, maybe you can see a new side to Ronnie. Collect evolution, crystal gemstones, growth items, home backgrounds, and lots of other awesome rewards. Collect tons of exchange items and strengthen your party. Now, the thing about these events, it's very important that you run these events and you prioritize the limit breaking materials because that's what helps to keep the game free to play friendly. That's this the way this game is set up, it allows us to limit break our characters so much easier. And at a faster rate than, say, for example, memory defrag, or say, for example, integral factor, where it takes a long time to max limit break a skill record. This game allows us to max limit break our characters very quickly. How to play scenario events. You, uh, you, in the scenario event, you'll take on bosses while enjoying an original story and collecting exchange items. Ex exchange items are items you can use at the exchange point to exchange for limited time items. How to get exchange items. Exchange items can be obtained by defeating bosses. A boss's HP will carry over after the battle has ended, so you can challenge it multiple times. How to challenge a boss. Bosses can be challenged by using a boss ticket obtained from completing an event quest. The higher the boss level, the easier it is to get rare items, so give it a try. So, just make it easier. In order to get the tickets to run the boss fight, you run the story mode of that event. The, running the story mode will reward you with the boss tickets, which then you take to go fight the boss. The boss will usually drop the exchange items at a higher rate than the story mode will so that's why you want to go fight the boss now you also want to make sure that you have your parties organized properly so that way you can defeat the boss as quickly as possible because you don't want to have to try a second attempt to defeat the boss because then you're going to waste your tickets so to prior to maximize your efficiency make sure that you have at least two characters with break and you have characters with charge and you have ways to support your charged characters and keep in mind, you need some healers too, just in case you take some extra damage. Battle hints. A boss's HP will carry over, but try to form a party that is suitable for your characters, which is what I just said. Uh, to your character's levels and against the boss's element in order to use the least amount of attempts. Also, when you use certain characters to clear quests, you can get a character bonus, which will increase the amount of items you receive. Try using these characters when you can. 
Bonus characters. A bonus will be included when you complete the quest with the following characters. Equip these characters to your party and get even more exchange items in the quest. So the bonus characters for this event will be Tisei and Ronnie. Obviously, it's their event. So, yes, that's how it's going to be. Now, personally, I don't have Ronnie. So, I'll be using Tisei on the event, which is fine. But now let's take a look at the current event that we have available to get an idea of the way that this is going to work. So the current event that we have available is Sortalina and the Zephyria Flower. So as you can see here, the event itself is split off into event quest and boss battle. So the event quest is the story mode for the event. Running through this gives you the tickets. It also gives you these items right here, which for this event, that item is the trade-in item so we can get different types of rewards so you take the tickets into the boss matches you can see here the boss match in this event costs 10 tickets for each boss fight so that's why you want to maximize the amount of times you fight or maximize the boss fight i'm sorry by making sure your team is properly situated so you don't have to re-battle the boss now Going into exchange point, this is where you can see where the exchanges happen. Gem shards are really important. Make sure you grind, you grind enough for those because using the gem, shard, the gem shards, you can take them to the item shop, trade in 100 gem shards for a 4-star weapon guaranteed ticket. Make sure you're doing that. Also, evolution crystal gemstones. The way that these are set up, is you take a hundred of these you trade it into the items for the limit breaking materials it takes a hundred of the limit breaking materials in order to limit break a character one time which will increase their uh i think they increase their level by five or the level cap by five as well as give them higher stats and allow you to access a different part of their uh skill tree so make sure that you're prioritizing those items Okay, the evolution crystal gemstones and the gem shards are very important. Make sure you prioritize those. On top of that, sometimes, so say for example, if we go, not there, if we go here to ordinal battle, this is the PvP mode, but I want to go here because I want to show you guys. In some events, there may even be almighty evolution crystals. Almighty evolution crystals are used to limit break your characters as well, but in this case, these can be used for any element okay so where the other ones that you see over here are specific to certain elements the almighty ones are not restricted by elements you can use them for whatever element you want so keep that in mind when it or if you see that in the event so i hope you found this video a little bit informational i i, I really hope so because I like the way that this game is set up. I like the way that they have the events set up. I think it's a very, very good way to do this game. To keep it free-to-play friendly. Especially, you consider how some of the other Bandai games are. You know, they. It, this game's off to a good start. I feel like it is. And I, I, I want, if you guys feel the same way, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. As I said... Thank you so much for watching the video. And thank you for all the support. By the way, guys, I, I got to give shout outs. Thank you so much for all the support that you've been giving to the channel and to the live streams, really. I mean, like, you guys have been fantastic in the live streams. But we've been having so much fun. Join the Discord. Join me on different social medias. All the links are down below in the description. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay cool, guys. Ass and titties. Leaf of titties. Not kid friendly. <laughs>